Well, I can barely see all of you, but thank you so much. And um, that was an incredibly powerful film. Um, I'm so proud to be part of Northwell um, and to be the first to have watched that. You know, I had um, an attending in medical school who taught me uh, in one of our first lectures to make medicine personal, and I never forgot that. And that is exactly what this type of storytelling does. It brings humanity to all of those 911 calls, to the, all of the 38-year-old female with right-sided weakness, right? It takes those and it puts a person and a life and a story to it, and it was so incredibly done. So with that, um, thank you again all for being here tonight, uh, and t I'd like to now have you tell us a little bit more about what it was like to work on this show. So I want to start off with Dr. Langer and Dr. Bukvar. Um, this is the second time that you've been part of a Netflix show. How have these experiences impacted your life? You go first. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't change at all. I'll cut you off when I'm ready. Um, I had, you know, you guys front loaded us with this question, uh, and I've been thinking about what I was going to say, so I figured I was going to wing it, see how I felt tonight. Um, you know, and seeing the way that uh, um, Jose handled that trauma, um, and how he's hand, we're handing this, his, this incredibly sick patient off that they took care of that ultimately survives, and I know he's made a good outcome. We're handing this off to you. That what we do as healthcare providers, whether you're in an office, whether you're in a in a operating room, whether you're in wherever you are, we are an organization, and uh, I'm John, and I feel incredibly strong about that. I mean, as far as the way I feel differently this time is this is much more an homage to this all of us and what we all do together and. Um, to just be able to share it with people like Jose and, and uh, Vicky Thank and this whole team um, is a really unique privilege. And um, that's different than the last time. Mm -hmm. We were in COVID, it was, it was a little bit more you know, about us rather than just everyone. And I'm really looking forward to the reaction and giving it to everyone here to go home and have their kids watch it. That's the reason why we did this in the first place. So I wanna show my kids who are here and my wife who knew what I did. <laughs> And, I, and I walk, I've met Jose's uh, children tonight and their nephew and niece, right? They're, yeah. they're allowing you in? Yeah. <laughs> um, that, uh, you know, that what we, we do this, uh, originally we go into this for, because we really want to help people and then our families struggle and they, and they, they suffer along with us. And to have the, the just incredible privilege to like let them see us inside, is, that's what this is again. And to do it twice and then have, uh, our patients here who can, we can celebrate with, and I know there, there's a little girl, Elle, here tonight, Lazarek in the audience, who uh, we operated Cohen's uh, six years ago. She came and visited today, and I met her as a young child for the, for the first time. I only knew her as a baby, and I promised wow. you I'd call you out tonight. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yay. But uh, I wanna thank, this is just overwhelming to see so many people show up to see this, and I know I speak for John, I'll let you speak in a second. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. You know, this could have driven us apart. We got so much attention. Um, respect the fact that it's not easy. We're not actors, you know? We're just doctors, and we love what we do. We love each other. We want to do good for the people we take care of and for our patients. We want to do good for our families. And uh, the show reflects that, and we appreciate the support and the love we feel tonight, and thank you all for coming. Well, I have to acknowledge my mother, who 35 years ago gave birth to my brother and I at Long Island Jewish Hospital. <laughs> She's so Thirty-five? Is that thirty-five? Is that what you said? Thank you. I thought it was, you picked up on that. The rest of you are. And my wife and my brother's wife. And you know, Tara, your question is such a good one. I got a great email today from a patient um, who thanked me for developing social media and basically creating a community for her uh, and her family with a brain tumor to go to, where she really felt alone. And I love the the title of this first episode, "You're Not Alone," and that's exactly what this show has done for us. 
in our microcosm of neurosurgery and now to see it growing uh, through the breadth of the health system, we've created an incredible community for our patients to come to. And I can't thank Adi and Rupi enough for giving us that platform because we are helping people in places we never reached and we are talking global. And that is a gift that just keeps on giving, so thank you.